there are so many uh, different versions of f to the f of x to the g of x power that it would probably be a good idea to go over all of them again, or at least the three most important. You might remember when you first started taking derivatives, uh, taking the derivative of x to the n. Well, this is a case of f of x to the g of x, but in this case, um, f of x is x and n is an integer. Okay, is a real number, so it's a constant function. G of x is a constant function. Very easy, right? It's just n times x to the n minus one power when you take the derivative. Uh, we're going to look at three general cases which we've looked at before, but I think it's a good idea to go through them so you can see the differences. Uh, here we have uh, the derivative of u to the n, okay, with respect to x, where n is a, any real number, okay, it's a constant function, and u of x is f of x, and it's not a constant function. u is not a constant function. Well, it's very similar to the x to the n. It's, this is actually a special case of the chain rule. I believe we called it the function to the power rule, where you bring n out front, you drop the uh, exponent by 1, but then you have to multiply times the derivative of u down here. And here's a good example of this, a polynomial to the 32nd power and you wouldn't want to multiply this all out, it would take forever. So you just use this rule up here, you bring the 32 out front, you lower this power to 31, but then you have to multiply it times the derivative of what's inside, don't you? And here it is, right here. And that's pretty easy to do, that just has a formula and it's very easy to remember. Uh, another uh, case of f to the g of x power is where f of x is a, some real number, in this case it's a greater than zero, and u is some function of x uh, that is not a constant. And when you have that case, then it's uh, a to the u, you repeat the a to the u times the log of a times u prime, a very easy formula to remember. And here's a good example. Okay, the derivative of 7 to the tangent of x power. Notice the, this f of x is a constant, and this is not a constant, g of x. Well, you just repeat the 7 to the tan of x, multiply it times the log of 7, and then you multiply it times the derivative of the tangent of x, right? Just like this formula suggests. In the next example, of course, uh, where f and g are not constants here, uh, you have, there's no easy formula. Uh, you really just have to use logarithmic differentiation. That's probably the easiest way to do that. And here it's uh, u to the v power, where u is an, a function of x, and v is a func another function of x, g of x, and u and v are not constant. And we'll have an example of that right here. The derivative of a polynomial to the x power. And both of these functions, both f and the power you raise it to, are not constants. And so the first step, of course, when you do logarithmic differentiation is you write it as y equals uh, f to the g of x here, or 5x squared minus x to the x power. Then you take the log of both sides. And what this allows you to do is to bring the x out front, that exponent out front. And there it is. We have the log of y equals x times the log of the polynomial. Now, we take the derivative implicitly, and of course the log of y is y prime over y, and we go use the product rule here, x times the derivative of this, okay, x times the derivative of that, plus this, the log of the polynomial times the derivative of x, which is merely 1. And we can simplify this a little bit. Uh, for one thing, I can bring the x up here, and I can bring, just get rid of the 1 there. I can also bring the y up, can I? I can multiply both sides by y, and I end up with y prime equals y times this expression. Now, uh, we know what y is, but y is 5x squared minus x to the x power, so I can substitute that in for y right there. And here it is.